Right then, I've left the top now, it's quite breezy. Uh, I did manage to see a lot of deer in the distance. I couldn't zoom in any further, I did maximum magnification with my camera. Um, I couldn't zoom in any further. I'm going down onto a path down there in a minute now. This is where I brought Daisy and Amber that time. There's quite a few holly trees I notice about. Quite a few. And there's some, I think that's some um, mistletoe as well. So I've achieved something. I caught some deer. Obviously I couldn't, I wasn't up close. I'm like, they aren't, they're just like down there, unfortunately. Like, or there. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? That hasn't happened to me yet. It has in the past. I have been very close to deer. And if I didn't have the zoom lens... they funny old... Fungi, aren't they? Yeah, if I didn't have the lens, I wouldn't have been able to get anything. There would have been dots. They still are going to be quite small. And it wasn't, it's not, there wasn't blue sky, it was very, very grey. So it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not going out to try and get right up to them. It, it's just nice to say, I've seen some deer. That's what I think. I've seen some deer. Oh, I don't, this path turns round. We're going to tur follow it round in a minute. Yeah, so I'm really pleased. I did see somebody walking along the top. It might have been Jill, but the person didn't have a dog and didn't have all the gear on that she wears, so I don't think it was her. But we're going down into the coombe that's next to Snorterhouse Coombe. Uh, I don't know. It isn't Frog's Coombe. I can't remember what this one's called. But um, I'll look it up on the map. So we're just weaving our way down now. We've got to, I know I've got to get back up again. I thought I'd do a little video. A little bit of video in there. Because there's a path going along there, look. You could get on that path. And that would take you up closer to the deer. If you, if, if it, was, it was some better weather now. And I had more time. I, and, I, and I was fitter. I, I probably, well, a few years ago, I would have gone over there. And gone and tried to get closer. But there's still a chance I might see some down there. You never know. They're playing it safe. See that there's a path coming down through there, look. Yeah, I'll have to study the, um, the map a bit more. I think with, I think with Daisy and Amber, I just, we just went down somewhere like that and just crossed over. I don't think we, we did all this. I've got to negotiate the bloody tree now, look. I think I just took them straight down. And we just crossed that stream down there. I don't know, I can't, I can't remember exactly. Well, we might have come along this bit. I, I think we did eventually get over there though. You know, all this is so nutritious, this soil here, with all the hundreds of years of um, leaves. It's fer rich fertiliser, basically. I mean, I can remember coming out somewhere with John Potter many, many years ago when I was a child, filling up bags of it for his garden. We came out and collected some, he dug a load up little things like that you remember but it wasn't here but it was somewhere in the contacts might have been in the Crocombe area <sighs> yeah it's nice walking in the woods though isn't it that's of course higher hair nap and all that up there that I did the other week in lower hair nap um, I've just, I'm just doing a little coom exploring and it's better to do it actually when the vegetation is calmed down a bit because you can see it, you can see the paths, 
um, you get a better, you can see through the trees. I mean, in the summer, it's like dense green and everything. You can't see, you can't see all up there, for example. So if you go this time of year, you can get like a skeleton outline more. And then if you did want to, I mean, back there, that would be almost unseeable, that path I took a minute ago. Because the, the ferns would have been nine foot high. All this would be nine foot high all around you. But we're going to meet up down here in a minute and go down and join that big path. And then we'll be back in the coombe. And then we'll, what we do after that? Yeah, we're going to try and climb up towards those trees. Over and out for now. Right, back on. Just come down that track there, that can talk. Um, I don't know whether I have been up through there, but I haven't done it for quite a number of years. Could be 20 years even since I went up there. So that's, like I said, I'm trying to do a bit of exploring of the, the combs. Um, because there's so, so many paths lead up and off, you know, there's loads of little paths like that. I just happened to come down that one, but this is more of a main track. And I have done it, and it'll probably take you up near where those deer are. And I can't remember the name of this particular coombe, but this is one of the coombes where you meet a, a junction point, a fork, and you'd go off. Um, and I don't often do this one, but one day I'm going to come up and pursue further up that way. Uh, it'll just take me out near the the hills further up, that's what'll happen. But it is very pretty here. Another coombe, parallel coombe almost to Slaughterhouse Coombe. Yeah, it's got a name this one, I just can't remember it. Now this tree was here when I came with Daisy and Amber. This was this was here. And it's obviously a bit more rotten now. That was four years ago I came with them. There's some little toadstools under there. See how they cling to the the sides there? Pretty, aren't they? Little family of toadstools. And they've got a lot of nutritious wood there to eat as well and they're on mainly on the other side which is interesting isn't it there's a reason for everything we'll be back in the coom in a minute and i'll have to jump some streams again but once again there are branches off you can go this way and go that way you know but i did say i would try and do a lot of the seasons this year 2018 Turning off again a minute. 